this is Chrissy Betts and we are returning to Risen Evil 7 teaser trailer well demo as it were right today uh, we are going to show you the location of the axe which is a bitch to find but after a lot of researching looking around I have managed to figure it out uh, I did have a friend tell me he kept throwing hints at me he was basically sending me loads of little whatsapp videos and uh, not videos uh, little whatsapp hints and saying roughly where it is and all I got was crouch in the video in the kitchen so after a bit of just wow. like looking around Still. I have spent hours and hours on this game trying to figure out the dummy as well, the dummy finger that is, and um, just to let the new people, the new watchers, um, know that there will be spoilers in this. I will be skipping through quite a bit of stuff that if you want to watch this first time, please watch my first video and then you can watch my alternative ending video. Um, and we can we can then progress through you'll understand where I'm going to in this one I'm gonna be going through it as quickly as I possibly can so the scare factor in the game will more than likely be last quite quite a bit really so honestly you don't I'm not going to sort of sort any of these out and I know you pull that le lever get a fuse from in there and you go in but what we want to do is we want to go straight through so I'm gonna try and keep this as quick and as short as possible although it may come out to be quite a timely thing and I do I will discuss uh, about the dummy finger and oh look at your baby fell down yet again how many babies are there up there so I'll go through, like I said, as quickly as possible, and we shall discuss about the dummy finger later, which has been puzzling the world, apparently. And as far as I know, Capcom have not really said anything, anything about the relevance to uh, what the dummy finger's for. Probably heard some grunting in that room. I don't know. Me speaking over it may have covered it up, but the like a wee little zombie or something behind the door which we'll never find out in little Harry Potter he's probably fapping behind that door somehow so I've been told that it was in the video so I did Ooh. oh jeez fuck off man every time Give me a break, hey, excuse I the language excuse the language speaking of which Every time I'm <laughs> I've played this a good fifty odd times, and every time that guy, even though I know it's coming, just my head with my headphones on, he just gets me so damn bad every time. Hey, come on, come. Plan. We do a walk through the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always. Oh, sounds fantastic. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Ecstatic. Such a dick. Such a dick. I'm so glad he got stabbed, man. So glad. Come on, man. Are we rolling? Alright, uh, we know you're the weakling. Yeah, let's go. You go in and <coughs> Brad, you kick his ass. <coughs> Get out of the way. Yeah, you push him out of the way because he's an arrogant asshole. Right, let's get it. Let's get it. Boom. So, if you're watching, please pay attention because so this is where this, this is a drawer that's been locked. You uh, you'll notice in my other video I do go through it. I believe so, anyway. And uh, that's locked. And that is where we will be finding our special little weapon. What's that? Nothing. So you basically you pick up a little pig lock and you open it up and yes, there is nothing in it. And yes, there is nothing in that apart from 
two lovely eyeball shaped things. How long lovely. do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, that'll happen when you uh, eat a Make lot a of eggs, cutaway. man. Almost kill Brad, uh, man. Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. You ain't got good shoes on, man. Don't oh, smile at me. Shit. Glad I had my shots. Actually, they Although, have pretty, uh, they have pretty awesome shoes. Backdrop. Where the hell did you get them, Andre, River Island? What do you think? God, Andre? They, look, they actually do look pretty sweet, man. Don't lie, your jacket, Andre. You look like a dick. Andre. Still look Clancy, like a dick. Clancy, you see where Andre went? Yeah, he went through the door. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. Right, normally you, uh, I, I have come across a ghost, normally she's hiding in this corner for me. Oh, she's not here this time. No, like, she appears, I because I've played through so many times. It's not really scary, um, it's, it's such a quick flash image, it's, it's almost, oh. Uh, what the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I, no, shush, leave me alone. Tapping the door. Again. Andre? Yes. Hello. Where the fuck is he? Shout a little bit louder, he may hear you. Unless you're Spider Man, he isn't on the roof, man. He's not on the roof. Andre, where are you, man? Why would you point? Come on, man. I spoke about this in my last video. Don't be so stupid. Come on. Yeah, so, uh, apologies, this bit of gameplay is going to be a bit slower. Um, These guys are fucking awfully slow at going through. You didn't even pull that. You just you, gotta be fucking kidding me. you stroked it. All right, you just deal. bloody stroked it. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Is this where this game's going? You're just gonna start stroking stuff and apparently doors open for you, eh? Hey, hey, hey. See what happens? See what's gonna happen? Okay, so yes, I'll go downstairs. I'll go downstairs, and we all know what happens. Meth lab, meth lab, meth lab, and brain. It's very unfortunate that we call the insurance company. They've got a dodgy pipe in the house. We shall have to inform them and tell them that it's not safe to live in. I did try many times, uh, I don't know if people have played this themselves, um, uh, there is a door just to the left where the guy comes from, I've tried to run in there quite a few damn times, um, no matter how f how close you get to it, it auto, it, you know, it takes over, the, it becomes a cinematic and, you know, you can't really do anything other than that, you know, you can't get to it. So that, you know, when I was looking for an axe, once I got told there was an axe in there, I spent many run-throughs trying to, I was scouring everywhere, you know, underneath everything, you know, clicking axe, hoping something would appear, and luckily I found the um, pick lock, or lock pick, that's the one, that's the one, and uh, quite frankly, it was very tedious work, so hopefully you guys watching this who do want to play it, um, you know, hopefully it helps you get there a little bit quicker. So, what we have done is we have gone through through the video and unlocked that. So, like I was saying, in in the present time, it wouldn't be there. Even if you went there before, you know, as I ran through here before, I have checked and it's not there. So, you can only access the lockpick through that. And as you can see, voila. There's an X. Bonjour. How should they draw? There's no use for it. And quite frankly, through this video, there is actually 
you know, I've I've been to all the different things. So there are all sorts of things you can try to do. You know, I've tried smashing the door. I've gone through the entire map hacking photos just to see if there's any use for this axe and there really isn't there's not many things it will interact with the good thing I, I do like the fact it sticks into things you know when you when you hit something or but I have gone through the entire the entirety of the game many times over with the axe and you can't even defend yourself uh, with the alternative ending and the ending I've got there may, there may be a couple more endings out there which I haven't yet discovered I haven't really looked too much into it I've just tried as many times as I can going through the gameplay and so we'll pick up this dummy finger this is the one that is I have been reading up on and I have been personally trying to been trying to stick it in all sorts of holes and the conclusion with this basically what I've come to the conclusion is that you can't really do anything with it you know, I can with the axe I can smash a couple of mannequins and stuff. I can't smash these three for some reason. They're like they're just amazingly good. Too damn strong, made out of steel. So I've been upstairs, I've gone and got the phone, picked it up, guy's been behind it, and you just can't defend yourself. It goes into that automatic cinematic thing which is quite disappointing, you know, there there's no use for it and I thought maybe little Harry Potter's hatch down here. So maybe I'd chop it and I've spent five minutes chopping away I've hit the doors over here I've been to the door at the far end and upstairs there is that door at the end just past the room if you'd watched my previous video you see which one I'm on about and there is just no use for this axe at the moment so all I can come up with is that Capcom are just trying to demonstrate the melee uh, weapon system the way it's going to work um, you know what the, what they're hoping to put into the game I know this probably won't be in the game and people are probably saying oh well yet you, you, why would they put a dummy's finger in there and all that and honestly the answer is <laughs> there is no use for the dummy's finger you know things like this you can react there's interactive screens where you can and there are, as far as I know there's only three interactive things that you can do in the game you go pick up the bolt cutters and you go to that cupboard and then it will come up with an interactive thing you know your, your display and you can interact with it and then there is this VHS player where you can interact with it and you can put the <coughs> put the VHS in there and then there's a fuse box but I obviously didn't pick up the fuse box so it yeah I didn't pick up the fuse sorry so the fuse will no longer be there for me because I didn't pick it up before I ran through the game and I went through the video so it won't be there now i uh, just show you what I mean it's once you've done the playthrough as they intend you to play through without actually discovering that first of all it will not be here on this table so it is not there this time so you do have to <coughs> be that pedantic person that searches everywhere and somehow by luck find that and then hit the fuse box which will take you upstairs and obviously that's the alternative ending and all I can come up with is with those three interactive things in the game going through the map so many times there is no other interactive th uh, like there there are physical interactions you know like uh, sorry I didn't realize the note had moved like these notes where you can't actually go to your inventory and s do anything with it there are like that interactive and there are like the button upstairs that's interactive but my conclusion is there is actually no use for this dummy, which every this dummy's finger that everyone so another physical interaction, no use for the inventory. Going through it, there are only those three that I can think of. If you guys do know of any others, please let me know. You know, I <coughs> I will do a video on it. I'll uh, see if your suggestions come to any kind of answer. 
but as far as I'm aware, there is no use for it. It is probably just a demonstration of what kind of things we're looking through in the game. That in the game that they do bring out, that it will be a matter of finding certain things that will, you know, as you can see the finger itself when you investigate it. It will, it does say it's part of a dummy's hand made of celluloid or whatever. Cannot really pronounce that, but I'm guessing it would make you want to look for that dummy's hand to, you know, it, it's part of its puzzles and I think that's what they're just trying to demonstrate. So it's obviously getting a lot of people out there, a lot of people's attention on trying to solve this puzzle. And to be honest, I in this demo, I don't think there is actually any kind of conclusion to that. I Unless Capcom decide after a couple of days, a couple of weeks, that there is a use for it, I will then try figure it out. Unless you guys have got any light bulbs above your head. Um, that's all I can come up with, really. Um, everything that needs... An object is interactive, and as far as I can see, only three things in this demo are interactive with your inventory. <coughs> so, there you have it, guys. My conclusion for the dummy's finger is there is no actual use for it. I know it's probably not what you're looking for, and everyone's probably going to say oh I dislike this <coughs> because you've not come up with any conclusion it's not very conclusive blah 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 to be honest that's what my honest thoughts are putting two and two together I just start to see everything that needs something interacting with you know for instance this axe has no use I've gone through the map many people have tried going through it this game no use for this axe and simply, I believe that the dummy finger is just a demonstration of the sort of puzzles that we'll be looking for in the game. So, <coughs> please don't be too put off that I haven't found any physical evidence for why the dummy's finger is in here. That is my honest opinion. I do believe that that is what it has come down to. And I'm sure... I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. There's a lot of dust going around the room. So I'm sure many other people have come to this conclusion as well. Um, yeah. So that's all I can do for now. Until um, I get a couple more comments or if something does come out, there is more information on there actually being something out there for the the dummies dummy finger. Um, I'm gonna have to call it there. I have. I hope, hope you enjoyed really. Uh, I've quite enjoyed playing. It's been been a very good game. Good graphics. A few good jump scares. <coughs> I'm sorry. My throat seems to be going just a wee bit. Right, I'll call it there. Please like and subscribe. And please comment if you do have any further information. I will be more than happy to oblige and try try some new things on it. Please let me know. Thank you very much for watching yet again.